Oh. And the rest, I think you know. Somehow, some way, a kid at my school found a way to do the world's greatest devious lick I've ever heard of. This man. Oh yeah, some guy stole on a our... toilet. <laughs> How the fuck do you do that? Man? No joke. I go into the A building, second floor bathroom, first fucking stall, toilet, dawn. Edith Finch. Whoa, what's this? <laughs> a lot of this isn't going to make sense Ma to you, and I'm sorry about that. I'm just gonna start at the beginning with the house. Someone you just had put straight up, up changed the name. name. <laughs> I, like I wasn't the first person to hop it. Oh, I jumped a chain link fence. I'm, I'm bad. My brother Milton girl. disappeared when I was four. Cool. It was like the house Man. just swallowed him up. Do. So I can't run, nope. but I can zoom in with shift and control. You, know? you can't run, but you do have Optifine zoom. <laughs> yes, except it's not as good. What do you mean half the rooms? That's kind of, we don't even know how many rooms are in there. So that could be like 30 rooms you weren't allowed into, one room you weren't allowed into, like be specific. She literally is unable to go to the second half of a room. <laughs> like there's tape in every room and one is just her side and then the others for the rest of the fam. That would kind of be funny. Ooh, there's text on the ground. In her will, my mother left me a key but didn't tell me what it unlocked. So we have a key, Maybe but we don't know what it's to. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. I'm gonna go to the dark and wooded path. I can't walk into the water for some reason. I want to walk the into the water. Is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. Oh, so you inherited the house. But now cool. I have questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. So your family's just all dead then? The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. This is nice. The house was exactly like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming about it. What the hell? Is this the fucking Hello Neighbor house? Also, I'm gonna go down the other road, because I, you know, I want to see what's back there, too. Hey, dear. No, come back. Aww. No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few have prints. All roads. I I hey, I got an achievement for going back and looking at both roads. Well, you see, she creates her own electricity. Very simple process, actually. It's Is just it? a little bit of plasma, you know? Plasma? How the fuck do you need plasma? What did you say earlier? I don't know. Dude, I have short-term fucking memory. After I was talking about plasma, what did you say earlier? After As a that? child, the house made I don't me uncomfortable fucking know. in a way I couldn't put into words. I forget things after like what? five seconds that aren't important, man. What do you mean <laughs> you don't you know? know? I, I don't exactly know. Those words were. You literally just said it. My bad memory. I told you this, man. <laughs> what? I know, but I didn't know it was this bad. <laughs> How only... do you remember my name? I asked Edie <laughs> once about the. And strangers don't need she said it killed her husband. I was six. It seemed like an odd there, joke I'm just to me. Fucking stream right now. <laughs> Delete the stream. <laughs> Never existed. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was eleven. Um. Why the hell did I do that? The power had been turned off the night we left. I don't know why my Pokedex is in Spanish. <laughs> what? Why is your Pokedex in my Spanish? Pokedex my Pokedex is in man. Spanish. The rest is English, but the Pokedex is in Spanish. The internet <laughs> is non-existent in this house because they internet have no not available because they have no electricity. You are you haven't been in this house since 2010. That's 12 years ago, bro. But this game wasn't made in 2022, so it like was wasn't home. 12 years. Did you feel but like you were home? Family, there were just memories of one. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just everyone in the too family much of it. Is dead, even like a dog. smile with too many teeth. My mom wasn't the much dog breaks me but dead. she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is Edie? buried somewhere in the library. Edie, that's Eddie. <laughs> why are why do you that's Edie to you? Hey. Great grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara along with the rest of the house. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement. Instead of e so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't e fit. Go to the basement anyways, even though your mother never wanted you there. <laughs> even though your mother never wanted you. <laughs> you just cut off the sentence. <laughs> Edie told me the bricks came from the original house. I should probably after it sank. Clip. So this house has just been perfectly fine. Left. If you're if you were never planning to come back, why didn't you take all the expensive shit like the TVs and the fucking art? And sell it. it You're like also bomb, talking gone, about a person who said that they're never furniture. coming back and is inside the house again. After Milton disappeared, 
Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Why did you then seal up all the bedrooms? I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's Also, who the room. fuck owns a house this Louis far told out me from the city? secret passages, but I never believed him. Bro, you, the house is literally in a forest. Who knows? The key. Okay, no, I don't want to open it yet. Turns I want to keep exploring. My mom's really good at keeping secrets. Oh, what have you ever the? Now it was hard to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Whenever people not gonna ask lie, me about my family, would not be surprised if you're the first thing just they now making know about is Barbara. The average person Fucking forgets like a thousand things because... every day. Me, I forget like two thousand things every Katie's day. Katie's father Odin built the original house. <laughs> I forget the entire day. <laughs> no, legitimately, I could probably not recall a single moment. Barbara was from a child yesterday. star for two years. Well, actually, I could call a few, recall a few moments, but like. I wouldn't. I don't remember most of yesterday. Spent Mom so much time working on that, just for the internet to not be. Yeah, but yeah, that's My that's basically Sam what spent happened. Seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. But everything else you don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember breathing. At I don't all remember yesterday. Who the hell remembers breathing, bro? Like seriously. Kid, just every <laughs> What's English? Sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with. If she hadn't died uh, in 1947. If she hadn't died in 1940 years. fucking seven. From yes. the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Before. Reading this, maybe I am it completely like shocked that I know that I know these fucking puzzles. How the fuck? I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. Is it, we're saying this like we're in the I third person. I grew up looking at like, Molly's room from the people. <laughs> Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own Sunae tiny little gerbil confused. cage. The gerbil had a what tiny is... little bedroom in the drawer. That's I adorable. Like first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. <laughs> gerbil drawer. A <laughs> gerbil drawer. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Yo. What's this? Molly Finch. Finch December is the last 15th, name. 1947. Did you think Dear it was Dad, the first name? I'll be gone I don't soon, know. But I, I thought it might have been about the main about character that we're happen. playing as, like, what the remains of our character, bed, Finch, like dinner. Edith. Oh, I yeah, I'm stupid. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for mm -hmm. something to eat. I don't like where this is going. My Halloween candy was all gone. Your Halloween candy was all gone. Kids, remember, always have drug, sex without a condom. Good investment. What? Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Bedroom. Kids eating and eating. Eating and eating. You fucking ate toothpaste? The shit? What's wrong with you? Why are you eating I the berry decorations? These are decorations. No, you don't eat decorations. Then I heard chirping outside my window. No, don't tell me we're gonna eat the fucking it was bird. It a barn swallow going back to her nest. Don't tell me we're her. eating the bird, please. Oh shit, we're gonna fall out the window. And suddenly... You're a I fucking a cat. cat? The fuck? I'm a cat now, bitch. And the hell is this? I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. I think it's just happy to see you. Nah, oh, fuck you, bird. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. The, what is with their faces? I jumped and I almost Baby. got her. What was going on here? We got a little wine dinner for me. Thank you. I could tell she was getting really tired. Oh no, really I thought it, was, thought it was drinks. It, it's just toys. Now I was up in the big tree. Uh oh. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Yep, you're planning to eat the mama bird. You are fucked up, kid. Uh -huh. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. You were a fucking First, owl all of a sudden? I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. What? what? This doesn't make any sense. Alright, yeah, this this really doesn't make any fucking sense. Rabbits. Oh, we're gonna eat a rabbit. Okay, cool. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up, and I didn't chew one bit. Mm, then that's I flew not... off to find something bigger. It's not something to brag about, really. Eating more and more and becoming mother different rabbit. animals. Oh no, that's just fucked up, man. Eating a mother rabbit, really? She was almost too big to carry. Ugh. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. Suddenly, I was a shark. 
A shark in a fucking tree. What? <laughs> the, the, ah. What kind of... What kind of... What? <laughs> this makes no sense. This story doesn't make any sense. This girl is a moron. This girl is a I little... Rolled off oh the my god. Into okay. the ocean. Here we go. Here we go. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Oh, that is a giant fat, fish. juicy seals. Oh, that is a seal. I got it. Hey, get it, get it. I tore off her flipper, and it tasted really good. Can I not eat the plants? Can I be a vegetarian? No, it's actually uh, getting a little harder. Grabbed on tight. Oh, we got it. Oh, I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened what my, am I my now? eyes, everything had changed. My fucking octopus? No, I'm a fucking worm. Am I like an eel or something? Now I was a monster. And I smelled people everywhere. I was big, and I moved real quiet. I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. <laughs> Passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. I got closer and closer. All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. I wouldn't think so, you would have heard that When we adopted kind of a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. E Edie's room, we've heard a lot about Edie so Her far. Room's like a museum. No, this one I can tell you years, is the, the only non-explained death. Remember she fortune. ate those berries in the window? Do you and know how um, now they only use synthetic ones? Some time ago, real ones were used. Thing is, they're very toxic. So yeah, she probably... Oh, she basically poisoned, hallucinated. Oh, okay. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. Okay, wife, well that Ingeborg, makes sense, actually. And their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send Jeez. the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's yeah. daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. And that's where uh, this Odin is, Finch I guess? Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Real news. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Edie knit me Should a new pair of gloves every okay. year, just in time to replace the old ones. Louis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Even in her 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Aww. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. <laughs> she could have, but she didn't. Man, technically, she's not lying. Edie won't One go. summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to, to evacuate go. Because of a little forest For a few fire. weeks, she was a celebrity. Mole man Edie gave a big interview house. about a mole man living under the Finch house. <laughs> My mom was furious. <laughs> I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Okay. Well, I think I actually uh, understand this a little big better trace. now. Okay, so I'm supposed to, uh, like, each of these starts a new little section. There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven and E. Finch. These, so this is like a key that unlocks There's all a of these books. In this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Okay. What? That's pretty cool. 
Love all the little secret rooms here. Ben gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put what it down. What time uh, will you do the next stream? Uh, Wednesday at about 8 p.m. Eastern time. That is usually whenever I'm streaming is um, 8 p.m. on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And then I also um, sometimes have a stream on Saturday, but that one is just kind of random time. Wait a minute, why is it going back under? Okay. <laughs> I just go into object school. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin, and that he never talked about him. Uh, fucking ads are point. Oh, it's like the Hungry Hungry Caterpillar. That's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, I love that. Oh, wait, damn it. That starts the next section, doesn't it? Oh, <laughs> uh, damn it. I just wanted to look at the really cool caterpillar thing. Okay, now that is a pretty sick entrance. I'm not gonna lie, that's a really cool entrance. I'm gonna back up though, because I'm not done with this area. I guess okay, my grandpa I'm didn't so like history here. any more than my mom did. Help. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Fink. The thing okay, I remember finally. is okay. that when he made up his mind, that was it. Okay, so here we go. Let's swing and he swing. I love swing. My swings. brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral. We swore. Nice, those are crazy. the days um, I can watch. He wasn't. Days. Calvin always wanted to fly. Whenever I have Stop. scheduled. Calvin. Us, baby. Coming. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. We. I so told we're gonna him going fly. around was impossible. Oh no. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Oh, wait a no, we're gonna go around the thing, aren't we? Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. The wind. Oh, the wind! Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt. Holy, that is. That's I think some he'd already height. made up his mind. How strong is this? That's what tree? I want to remember about my brother. I'm not even touching anything. I'm just flying. That's the day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. Damn. Well, uh, that's, uh, yikes. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Yeah, I think we've all tried doing that, honestly. He kind of was, uh, you fail. know. Edie roped off Calvin's half of the house. Um. Mom um, said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Kay. The passages were a pretty tight fit. Ooh. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Well, you don't say. Um, bra. Whose room is this? Growing up, Barbara I always Finch. thought of Barbara as a child star. Dreadful stories. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. <whistles> now at 16, she was all washed up a has-been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. Being fans. known for a scream, that's a kind of sad. Her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan oh. and her boyfriend, <laughs> Rick was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. Mm. So Barbara got stuck babysitting Ouch. her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but... I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... What? That came from the 
basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding. Until oh, so finally, there's a key in key there. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to go back and grab that. Twenty minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. She reached for the music box. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. I'm in control of her here. Oh no. <laughs> it's it's ha it's the Halloween music, like it's the Michael Myers. She found Rick's crutch and imagine the worst. I mean, good reason to imagine the worst. I mean, fucking look at that. This looks like it's straight out of a horror movie, man. Whoa. Oh yeah, the this all. The infamous Hookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. But what happened to her boyfriend then? The old fridge rattled and grew still. Oh dear! Oh dear? Are you serious? Oh. Rick? Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was That's... holding when she wow. was watching the late, late picture show. That's Barbara just evil. Later. Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Think that's gonna scare me? Really? How low are your expectations for me, game? Walter, are you there? Walter vanished, but his bedside radio was still on. Orca's Island Police described the man as six feet tall, with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Barbara turned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. It just sounds like the candy man, honestly. Way out of here. Through here, probably. Not. She played her part beautifully. Ambush time, bitch. Molly's door hadn't been opened in years. The hinges groaned. Bonk. Oh, <laughs> Who is this fucker? Michael Myers? And was I right? Is this Candyman? Just don't say it five times. Oh, he's gone. Yep. The hook man had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was. Ding dong. Why are we going to the door after just seeing that dude? This feels like a trap, but we're gonna do it anyways, because why not? Whispering was coming from inside the house. Yep. Trap. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Not even screaming, just. Oh dear. The monsters had come to surprise her. For Barbara, it was a dream come true. Really? And she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. Oh, 
I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom, but unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And mm. little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. Really? It took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. That's... Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. Eerie tale. <laughs> so basically we've killed by an intruder is what that looks like. They just, you know, obviously they want to make it creepier, ooh, so they made it like, oh, she was killed by monsters, you know. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was, maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. <laughs> I wouldn't call that a happy ending. I guess now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. Okay, well, let's go out and play with the music all box. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. After True. Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got pretty sick of salmon. Uh, Except our cat. Except our Molly. cat. <laughs> Maybe you just have to spin it a certain way. Yep. Okay, well, that's pretty interesting. That's cool, though. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Was this her wheelchair, then? Or, like, wheelchair stuff? A lot stuff, of things got left you know? behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Mom said the basement was off-limits. Sven. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. It's I great. saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. What? Okay, I know this house has a lot of hidden rooms and shit, but really? How? I remember asking Mom once about where Walter had gone. He said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. If there's a pattern in all these stories, wait. Uh, th they've got like an entire fucking I think bunker it's down here. Has gotten very far. It's just a bunker. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for thirty years. Thirty years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule. Living for today. I always expect it to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Seven years after that. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. Why is it just random shaking? And then one day, everything just... 2005. Stop. Jeez. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe you got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while I still can. Oh, I didn't see that for 30 years. Like. Or at least it seems like he didn't do much of anything. I mean, maybe he read a book or two, but like, not much of anything. He I know there. it's out there, somewhere. Why haven't we been eating or reading any of this stuff? I mean, maybe he did. Just like, you know, sometime throughout that 30 year Barbara span. And Molly and Calvin. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living this. Even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, I want you to know, I'm ready for it. I'm not, let's go back years ago. Like, this is some really good graphics. I don't mind if I only have a year left, or a month, or a single week. I'd be happy with one new day. I can already That's imagine the beautiful. sun on my face. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Mm. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. I'm sure my mom was trying Why to Why didn't we me. tell him that he was... That nothing was going to kill him and that he was fine? Why didn't we... Why, man? Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. 
what was he hiding but from in the first place? But if she never told place? me about an uncle under the house, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I guess this is I where he put his food. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made, trying to bury something that's still alive. Why? Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. Maybe two. What do you mean, maybe two? Found out what happened to Who else could else? it be? But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. So he spent over half his life down there. The tracks broke. At some point after the man died. After I don't know if I died. should even be writing this. Could the tracks have broken maybe a little sooner? Or maybe, maybe be he better just went out like a day later. Me. But I thought you should know about your family. Dang barriers. And the history you're a part of. See that? Like, this looks like a little rafty raft. Though to be so. honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. Sand. I think the people in these stories believed them. For what that's worth. Up to this cliff where there's probably going to be another story. Whatever, okay, Jesus, this is a really long staircase. And when you look at the house, that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness, any of it seems possible. I think Didn't we've already been know. by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? A family that dies a lot? Or has a lot it's of people that are dead. It's to admit this, but the pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. My god. Three of the gerbils are mine, and two had been my fault. So we've got Daisy, Lucy, Charlie, Tucker, Coco, and Zoe. Bailey, Shotzi, Shotzi? What is that? Bob, Oliver, Shadow, Christopher. And then we've got Zerpy, uh, Lurpy, Furpy, Chirpy. A burpy Derpy Derpy Jr. How many Sven animals did you have house, died? But it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Ollie, the girl who ate a poisonous berry and died. Like the smart people I'm sure do. Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on. But for Edie, the past never went away. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. I'm gonna go to Odin's side first. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. So it crashed right there. Like, seriously, what is that? You see, like, the little wooden platform? Has no one tried to buy this house or anything? Like, some the older rich I get, dude? The more I can see where my mom was coming from. Sam Finch, Gregory Finch, Her dad Finch, had been pretty strict, Gus but it wasn't Finch. enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Well, we have no idea who those kids are. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Lewis, Milton, Sanjay Kumar. We never found Milton's body, so my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. Not a tombstone, it's just a There's monument. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Yeah. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. Probably For me to come not. back someday and find everything out for myself. I mean, yeah, she definitely, she probably wanted you to learn, but she probably wanted to do this with you, if anything. Oh, yeah, this is the treehouse we went to in Molly's story. Yeah, because your room was right there, and then we climbed over here and then died, almost. Except we turned into an owl, because, you know, she was hallucinating back and going crazy. Now. You know, whenever we were an animal for a bit, because she ate a berry and thought that she was animal. If she told she me animal. there was going to be so much climbing, um, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. You're fucking pregnant? Where's the dad of the baby? I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. They were both pretty intense. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. Mm. I guess we're all afraid of something. What's this? What? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, we're not doing that yet. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. That's what some people do. So he was in the army, or Marines, okay, yep, I didn't look over there, but I just saw this. That's what they do uh, for people in the military, is they have like those little flags there and they give that to the family. I like his room. Okay, let's see, what's his story? Oh, it's just photos. Okay. Do you know the baby she um, has is you? And you're going Don, off I of promise. a book your mother wrote? Never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. Well, thanks These for the spoiler. The I didn't know that that was... I've literally never seen I this game. Have to shoot anything. 
It's a hunting trip, Don. Shooting is strongly encouraged. What? Perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. This That's Barbara. the spirit. Okay, got it. But yeah, I've literally never pictures, played this okay? game. Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Aw. Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Hey! <laughs> Keeper. You didn't know by now? You didn't piece what she was Why saying together? I've literally saying, never seen this game before. Be here, like, I've, this is You'll my first time playing it, and I... If you want to survive. Ah. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. I thought it was just Don, narrating. Serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. That's the last time I was with my brother photo. Calvin. Man. That was a great trip. No the idea. Grandpa Sven taught us how to fish, trip. how to build a fire. Found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. Hmm. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Give me a minute to check the map. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? You don't need to waste any more film on me, kiddo. I'm trying to just look around. The... Dad. Good oh, eyes, wait a minute. Don. I found it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Dad. Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. Great shot, Don! I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Sorry, Don, just gotta reset the timer. Oh, wait, okay, I'm controlling him. I didn't realize, okay. Hang on, kiddo. Just trying to get a shot of the two of us together. Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's That's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about- Dad! Oh! Oh, damn. Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Got killed by a fucking deer. Deer, that deer was a bitch. That guy seemed cool, too. I mean, he he was a bit morbid, Sam died, but, you know. My mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry. Yep, when you don't yeah. listen to your kid, let's see you fall off a cliff. Uh, My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. So, are you basically saying that I'm the mother and I'm Dear like, Kay, do you she's the reading this he book? Laugh when he thought he was alone? Like, something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Like, was that what you were saying? I think he saw things the rest of us don't. This narrator is just the daughter of Edith, the person we're playing with. Right now. over, Gregory. It's time to... Hold on, sweetie. God, I hate those phones. Those phones always. Ma'am, I told like, you I don't want to talk right now. I wonder what he saw. We. What his world was like. Okay, wait. Actually, can I knock these letters off? Oh, I can. <laughs> I'm definitely doing that. Reminded me so much of Calvin. Whoa. His imagination. Here we go. I got it. Gregory, <laughs> I got an achievement for that. Whatever it was, he saw. Oh, am I going to sure like drown him or something? No, that'd be so messed up. Okay, boing. I know how sad <laughs> But I worried about a baby being too happy. Boing. I can feel him slipping away. Oh, flip, I'm Sorry glitching. That, Gregory. I know you did everything you could. Okay, we're not dead, at least not yet. Maybe if I hadn't called that night. Damn it. Hold on, I don't want I wish you could have told us. No! <laughs> I was but right. No, come on. No, that's... No. Don't drown, kid. Gee, there's so much I don't understand. About Gregory. About everything. But I know what happened wasn't your fault. I'm sure he's happy. And he'd want you. To be happy too. Good luck, Kay. Love, Sam. They got divorced over that. That's brutal. Poem for Gus. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard. Before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Hey, everybody. <laughs> It's me, I have a kite. My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. This I tried to talk now. him out of it, 
but though he'd never met her. We don't need a stepmom, were the words that I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Ooh, husband and wife. Ooh. That's a lot of letters, man. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign held up his middle finger, the wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Oh, it's going to be a tornado, isn't it? The rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Yeah, if there was a tornado. Thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, Make the music louder. It was like a tornado, wasn't it? Or at least it I was like I wish that like I could truly tornado. say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't. Until we found you. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Duties, sweep trash, mop mow yard. <laughs> Greg, be a baby. <laughs> Raise flag, breakfast, quiet time. Jeez, they woke up early. Just me. She spent a summer building houses that I was in Calcutta, and that we where pregnant. she met my dad, Sanjay. Okay, does this just bring me back down? Yep, it does. I don't want to go then. No, no, no. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. When well, my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. Dawn, I'm sure Edie Lewis. was happy to have her back. They just got all the and little to see plants. kids in the house again. Totally the house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. So they just had like an entire flippin' school up here. But it didn't last. The yeah, beginning that of would be terrifying. Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. You know. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. It's a flip book. Oh, okay, I just have to hold the thing. Okay, cool. Man, I like flip books. <laughs> Flip book within a flip book. <laughs> How long is this flip book, man? What if you just stop? No, it just keeps going without you, even if you aren't like holding the um, D key. That's that's really all for Milton. I was four when Milton disappeared. Yeah, it looks like that's all up here. Mom spent months searching. Okay, no, we're not at the top. Then she There's sealed still the doors. More over there. I didn't see that. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Jeez, yeah, if you hate heights, you would not like this place. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room, except Lewis. Stay out of Lewis's room. <laughs> and then Lewis is just like, you can come to my room if you want, bro, I don't care. Is there a speed run for this game? Because, like, if there is, that's got to be... This has got to be a weird game to try to speed run. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. And my man was a gamer. He had golden AWS and D keys. He did not have a TV, though. A wonder Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly Whoa. sober, okay. I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Meh. <laughs> Chappy chap. <laughs> he kept working at the cannon. Eh. <laughs> uh, I love ragdoll physics. Don't you guys love but ragdoll he physics? Past himself. Yeah, you take In that. In sessions, I saw the same yeah. behavior. His mind began to wander. He began to wander. I asked him to describe it. Okay. He said he started small, imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. Then something moved. And something moved, ooh. Bats and toads and things that have not names. 
thinking like I gotta chop the he fish. He all in his head. Then we got a deep thing. But he took it very seriously. Had hoped he'd find himself. My God, how many fish are there? Jesus, stop killing me so many fish. I just want to mind wander, man. I worried about him then. My man likes a video game. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss, but he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. I don't think he's very focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. Oh no. We're we gonna chop our hand off or something. That's what I'm I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising first. He told me he'd made a new friend. Doggo! On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. Jesus! <laughs> he built the city up slowly, brick uh, by brick. Brick by brick, brick by brick. Gotta build a house, brick by brick. Gotta build a house, brick by brick. Gotta build and a he house, made musicians. Brick by brick. The fish are coming a lot slower. And songs for them to play. And it sounds creepier now. He talked now about starting play. a band, and, and he was always humming something. Was he always humming something? Every day his imagination grew stronger. He no longer fish spoke at the cannery. Head. It's a fish. Head. Fish but his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that what all the him? cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination, so he could do whatever he yeah. wished. I like computer games. I love good storylines. Even if they're very confusing sometimes. And he won. Yeah, even even though he's the only one who can really be elected for mayor. They him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Lewis Topia. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Louisville. Saint Louis. He started drifting away from our reality, Minneapolis, until oh, one day he, he forgot to go from home from else. the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a beautiful prince or a handsome queen. Let's go to a handsome queen. Handsome queen. She looks very nice. The queen was on her own quest for a sinister serpents. Sinister serpents. Oh no, not the serpents. He followed the sound of her electric guitar, obviously. We like guitars here. Electric sitar. Sitar? Uh, oh, I thought it was guitar. Really cool. I mean, should have been a musician. <laughs> Look at this. Or a game developer. I mean, he did trade all this. His led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. Yeah, it's just completely the world was this all in his imagination. Now. Why do they keep sending fish so if they want of me to leave? Created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. For I someone like who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. Here my imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Yeah, dude, you should be a flippin' game developer, dude. He began like, to forget the world we know. Seriously. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Chopping, chopping. He began chopping. to despise the man with a royal contempt. I still thought I could save him. Even Jeez. after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. Of his wonder, you know. The palace would be packed with his companions. Yay! I am king. I am king. One of them Including the wise Calico, <laughs> who'd insisted on advising him. That, that person's tall. We got, we got some people who are just super short and tiny, and we got these giant tall boys. That looks like a guillotine. His queen waited, holding his crown. That's a guillotine. That's a guillotine. There was only one thing left to do. That is a guillotine. Um. Um. I don't like this. Bend down his head. Bend down his head, okay. Yeah, that's a great idea. Oh. And the rest I think you know. 
Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew so him. I th- My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, her my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. Hello. I wish we'd stayed. Imagine living up here. But I understand why we left. Imagine the guy who had to work on the wiring and build this place. Like, well, I'm pretty sure that they built this place, but like, imagine doing the wiring (laughs) for it. Because like, you'd have to go under everything, and like, you that would be (laughs) hefty paycheck for that. that Night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. Thank God this shows no blood or anything, because his head getting uh, chopped off sounded bad. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Edith. (laughs) Right on myself. (laughs) Let's write the rest of the story on myself. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? Okay. The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. You're Edith, not leaving. you're excused. <laughs> the power had been shut off that morning. Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. The electricity got shut off just now. So that's or why everything else wasn't gone it. or anything. I was just like, why didn't they take any of their valuables or any of the, you know, and then that makes sense. Because we're just seeing a story before everything was, you know, going to end when you leave the house. A bed. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. What? We'll have How the are they dead because of the stories? Okay. There's so many stories. Okay. Yeah, we're still missing Dawn, though. Love scary games, but don't play most of them. Uh, because of the fact that dead bodies are in them. I'm terrified of dead bodies, but you'd think I'm not because I want to be a surgeon. Yeah, blood has just never grossed me out for some reason. Can I go up here? Screw your story. Aw, damn it. Borders, man. <laughs> it just was a kite. It, it picked up a bunch of rubble and last just time killed I- ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. Yep, that's pretty God, damn low tide. It smelled awful. Hey, there's the um porch no, thing. Okay, so I've yeah, that's just that like house every day of my life. Oh, so it must have been up there before, like, um, like, to get into the water, and then that's how it... Okay, that I makes sense. I never thought I'd go back to it. Going back to the old house. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Well, I'm not gonna lose my way, I'm walking straight. I got turned around. What? Doesn't even make sense. I started seeing things. Deer! Hey, deer. How you doing? Yes, a deer. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Hey, we found the house. Okay. (laughs) Still latched. Are you serious? That's just bullshit. <laughs> Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and- Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next really? morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. She's just After that, we moved gone. around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. Shake, 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 shake. My mom didn't like to talk about it. Shake, shake, shake a shake. But she started getting sick a lot. Shake, shake, (coughs) shake. 
The rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while, and then she did Dawn Finch. Oh, that's Edith's mother. And then I was alone. Oh. The last Finch left alive. Oh, this is in the Until POV I found out of about you. Edith. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. Playing I just want to meet you. The baby that's going like through the... tell you all the... these stories myself. Huh. But I guess if you're reading this now... Things didn't work out that way. Don't tell me Edith dies during pregnancy. Like, during the birth. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. 2017. Story by Giant Spare. Is that the end? For Shirley Dallas. Oh, that's the end. That felt so short. That's sad and a bit disturbing it to me. It was really short. Mika, yeah. It was uh, very short. It was very confusing, though, because Mika was saying, like, you're playing as, like, Edith's daughter, and I was like, what? <laughs> and I was just like, no, we're not. Looking at achievements, because that'll probably give me more gameplay. Play Calvin's story again. Clear all the balls off the pool table. I didn't know we could play the pool table. Oh, I want to do that. Um, let the drunken sailor finish his song. Oh yeah, that guy. I did. I killed him before he finished his song. Uh, catch <laughs> two rabbits with only two swoops. Even I wouldn't do that. Look in all peepholes and telescopes long enough to hear Edith's commentary. The end. Okay. And now he's going to swing out of control. Whee! You spin me right around. Directed baby right around right now. Owls. Have you never turned into an owl? No, I've never turned into an owl, sadly. Now kill the babies. I actually like this guy's song. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I remember something. So, uh, this guy's song is actually copyrighted. <laughs> That's definitely a penis. Can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> I let him finish his song. Four days without sleeping. He just goes I'm the entire no, day without noticing I'm no a single mathematician, one. but I think you might have a hallucination or two. I don't know about you guys. A really good game. But I really like it. Would game. recommend. I, I, 10 out of 10 would No, recommend. I like the part when they. I the liked the part talking. whenever I was a slug. <laughs> you know, for me, I really, I really like the part when, uh, you know, the, there was dialogue. Kitson, what is wrong with you? Seriously. A lot. Can we fix what is wrong with you?